Hello, it's only me, in today's video, we're gonna be replacing fuel pressure regulator and show you the symptoms how the bad fuel pressure regulator sounds like. Bad fuel pressure regulator will cause rich burning, which means sending more fuel than the recommended amount, or lean burning, which is sending less fuel than the recommended amount. So, in both cases, engine will lag and misfire sometimes. If the engine lags at low RPM, it means more fuel entering combustion chamber due to closed pressure regulator. And if the engine lags at high RPM, it means less fuel entering combustion chamber, and that happened in many cases. Stuck open pressure regulator, clogged fuel filter, clogged fuel injectors, or a bad fuel pump. Fuel pump pushes gas through filter and passes pressure regulator and then reaches fuel injectors. Next, fuel pressure regulator open and release excessive pressure and keep the pressure steady at all times. If the fuel pressure regulator is stuck close, it will increase pressure and send more fuel to the fuel injectors, which is rich burning, and it will cause lagging at low RPM like my car here. And if the fuel pressure regulator stuck open, it won't let the fuel reach to the recommended pressure, because more fuel returns to the gas tank than sending to the injectors, and that caused lean burning and the engine will lag at high RPM. Here I got a new pressure regulator, fuel enters here and here is the return line to the fuel tank again. So I had to take the fuel pump out and disassemble wire harness and the fuel gauge. This is not gonna be a detailed video how to remove fuel pump, but I did a detailed video how to replace fuel pump and fuel filter on my 2017 Toyota Camry. You can check that out later for more information. Before putting new pressure regulator on, I would like to replace bottom filter as well. I'm gonna be using new hose for this, because these hose can be used only one time. Make sure you are far away from the car when using heat for the hose. Once you heat the hose and put it on, you cannot use it again if you remove them. One quick clean before assembling everything back and applying oil to the o-ring, it will provide better seal. And the last thing, putting wire harness and the fuel gauge back. It's always a good idea to remove fuel gauge when working on fuel pump, so you don't damage or bend it accidentally. And now we are ready to put the fuel pump on the car and start the engine. With the new fuel pressure regulator, there is no lag and instant acceleration on the engine. Here is how it was before. And here is how it is now. After I checked the valve, there was some stuck particles inside the fuel pressure regulator. Cleaning might help, but I prefer a new one. Hope I gave you a good explanation how fuel pressure regulator work and how they look when they go bad. So that's for this video. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.